What can SITE do for you? The Center for Innovation and Technology offers a business opportunity to engage directly with your market online. We also offer media training workshops, live streaming, documentary production, and events management. For more information, visit our website and social media platforms. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. With SITE, you'll never miss a thing. Thank you very much, Councillor Makosa. We will ask our town clerk, Mr. Sid to please welcome everyone. Thank you, Madam Director of Proceedings. Your Worship, Mayor of Lawayo, Alderman, and uh, uh, Councillors of the City, Senior Management and Staff who are with us today, the media houses, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the State of City Address by His Worship, the Mayor of Lawayo. This uh, comes at a time when we are facing some challenges in water supply, demand, and management. I will, won't uh, go any further than that, other than uh, uh, to uh, sit and wait for his worship, the mayor, uh, to do what we are here for. Thank you very much, your worship. Thank you. We'll hand over to you, your worship. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media. We have called this press conference to brief you on what is happening in terms of the water situation uh, in the city. Ladies and gentlemen, the city of Plawayo would like to advise residents, uh, uh, stakeholders and members of the public of the revision of the current 48-hour water shedding program to 72 hour water shedding program with immediate effect. Council has made the decision to introduce 72 hour water shedding program per week due to a number of challenges which have been experienced over the past weeks. The city's water demand over the last three weeks has increased from an average of 135 megaliters per day to 150 megaliters per day. In comparison to the raw water production figures of 110 megaliters per day, resulting in a deficit of 45 to 60 megaliters per day. This deficit in the past has been largely managed through the introduction of a 48-hour shedding program. The city has faced a number of water supply disruptions which have affected the water supply situation. Some of these challenges include one, intermittent water supply to Nema water treatment plant and fenil pumping station, Umzingwane and Yanguni dams. Nema and fenil are supplied by a dedicated water supply, the power supply line, which is ordinarily exempt from load shedding. This, however, has changed for the past uh, one and a half months with Zimbabwe, a uh, supply and transmission and distribution company uh, from time to time requesting for Nyema and Fenu to reduce the load on the national grid. Further to that, uh, terms with pumping boosters such as Inyankun and Mzingwane have experienced a regular power shedding. This has reduced the raw water delivery to Criterion Water Treatment Plant negatively affecting the raw water buffer reservoir at Criterion. The raw water buffer level continues to decrease. Uh, to a uh, lack of pumping due to reduced power supply and pump breakdowns at Inyankun and Umzingwan. Limited pumping has been a result 
of power supply uh, reductions and pump breakdowns due to old age. The raw water KSB pumps are old and only are only due for replacement in March 2020 under the Royal Water and Sewerage Services Improvement Program, BSWIP. Currently, only one set is functional at both Noema and Fenio. The Souser pumps, though relatively new in comparison, remain very old pumps as well. Work is in progress to repair the electricity, electric motors, two booster pumps at using one of them, which have been down since Sunday, are being repaired. The two out of three operational ones are heavily leaking and currently being welded. And three, the growing city demand and consumption even after the introduction of the 48-hour shedding since July. Uh, current average consumption is at 150 megalitres per day with an all-time peak of 170 megalitres per day being experienced on Saturday, 19th October 2019. This is against an average abstraction and supply regime currently at 90 to 110 megalitres per day, resulting in shortfall of 45 to 60 megalitres per day. This is an overall effect of depleting and almost collapsing the city's reservoirs and hence the periodic emergency shedding that seeks to stabilize and balance this, the current supply uh, situation. I would like to further highlight to the water supply in the supply dams as at Wednesday, 23 October 2019, is precarious at 38,16%. Uh, 38, 38,16%. Percent, with the total volume being 158 million cubic meters and the usable volume being 141 million cubic meters. The city is currently being supplied by five out of six supply dams, with the upper Nama dam having been decommissioned in July 2019. However, the city strategic dam of Umzingwane is currently at 6.58% and is projected to be decommissioned in November, thereby reducing the number of supply dams. To try and mitigate uh, this situation and, and various challenges that we are experiencing with regard to water provision, Council has been having continuous engagement with the Zimbabwe Electricity Transmission and Distribution Company uh, to try and address the intermittent uh, supply of electricity. Residents are advised that the water rationing allocations remain in force and they are encouraged to adhere to the limits to avoid penalties. They are further encouraged to conserve water and continue to conserve water. We are also implementing a program to repair bores that are non-functional in and around the city to mitigate the plight of residents. I thank you. Um, thank you very much, Your Worship. At this point, we will take questions from the floor, if we are in. in terms of e e lot shedding. Um, what's coming out of those talks in terms of sparing the city since it's affecting open commands?
Thank you. You are the Chancellor, at Adam, the Chancellor's in the headquarters. The questions that have been asked is, it sounds about to have gone more than 48 hours without work, yet we have been in the 48-hour shaking regime. Yes, that has been happening. It's something that we are also begging uh, to try and solve as a city. But it's, it's not as easy, especially when uh, we have uh, the situation, funding situation that we have. It is the reason why we have decided that we come back to council and uh, maybe ask for a, 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 a stricter water shedding regime. And it is hoped that if we get to this uh, stricter water shedding regime, we may try and overcome the situation. However, uh, the situation might still remain some problems, especially on, on uh, areas on, on, on the high ground, because when we start uh, pumping, people who will almost get the water as and when water is released are those people who are at, at the lower end. But people on, on, on high ground, continue to have uh, some challenges. It's something that we're also going to be looking at from time, time to time with our engineers. And then the other question was that of the engagement with the ZETC. Uh, uh, yes, the engagements have been, uh, they've been yielding fruitful results in, the, in, in, in that we have a dedicated water power, uh, I mean, uh, uh, um, power supply in our major pumping areas. But of course, the challenge that is there is uh, we have a serious shortfall countrywide for, for electricity. And uh, 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 they have not been cutting us off. They have been coming to us to say, we are having a serious shortfall. Can you slow down on your electricity consumption? So those are some of the outcomes that we have. We are cooperating. Follow up questions. I'm a polls after this statistics go engineer. Mina from my last statistics, Kulama polls about thirty seven, I am a sevens. I'm a polls in the next thirty days. In Kuluma so see contract to any company, it can sell am shouting some polls. Mokang Elena way to Tina Jagger Council, best of whom within two years in two weeks' time. I was a Pelama Poles, but a successful one would be very realistic. A Sinigi company's quarters quanile, who was a Tisina Vis Viela Futi, a Sitinji contracts, but one month. Quotas were the little within two lay agent, Stemina Lingawenza, even in one week, Liguens, and the Sierra's Kangele would be all possible. Never go figures in Billy, but I will say, I'll get Lama Poles. And Ama Pausas, Ama Pausas is a Kamiz, see Lama Pausas, Ama Ama Luchuan, and what is a high foot to Kukunas Kama, Sikamegi Levelegates. Ama Pausas, Akona and Alama Luchuan, any interest of his child footing, Mamma's supply, Amans, Ama Pausas in neat areas. If you will, it is a lens, yes, it's Paris Amakapafus. Got us as a Zam, Igakulu in Dao. Is Lavantu Avaning, it does it as Golo, it does it in a McLeanix, in the Jalo, in the Western Scott, in the social in Lapo, wherever you are going.
Yes, um, that's a very good, good, good question. But uh, uh, let's look at it from two angles, from the consumption side and also from the uh, management side. Uh, from the consumption side, Bestela is a Kamizi, which is a man who is a man it is target to get the process of the 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 Amanze, look at Quela, Safia, one hundred and seventy megalitres a day. City Tinas is a locus continuous Nigavantamans. Singers and Jaros are told about Boga Bazar Toll. He was a sense of Konokan and Uti, a Sishate, Lapa, Sivaling Appa, Sivuling Appa, always a Uting Ali, Ama, Ama reservoirs, a two, especially raw away raw water, a Quela Pesu. Because at this one's a since it is a sensor, it is a sensor. It is a sensor. It is a sensor. a sensor. It is 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 a a a, a, a demand and supply. She says they would at least have to possible to tell them as of now. Do we have any additional questions? Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day with comment. So it's all clapped with a comment. Okay. Thank you very much for coming this afternoon to end this program again with a closing prayer. Thank you that we come to the end of our program. Lord, we pray for you. May you look upon this nation, upon our city, with the message that you may give us from Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Even for our mayor, we pray for the councillors, for the heads of departments, as they run around, Father, to give solutions to our challenges, to the challenges that are affecting our city. We pray for wisdom, we pray for understanding. We pray again for thy peace to continue to reign in our city. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the members of praise present. May you bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <coughs>